it's the beginning of May and it's time for my monthly TBR. For those of you who don't know what TBR means, it just means simply your to be read list. So books you're planning on reading in the month. And I've got a bit of a problem. All of my library holds came in at the same time. So I have quite a bit of books technically on my list, but I kind of narrowed it down a little bit, but it's still quite excessive. So let's get into it. So I've got a couple of nonfiction books out. One I've got on my like e-reader and it's a book about women in the science workplace and why they're they're not quite as prevalent. I can't remember the initial title, but I will have it in the description below. The next nonfiction book I have is Salt by Mark Kiranowski. And I this is a recommendation from a professor I had several years ago in college. I took um, a Middle Eastern history class and a British history class from him and um, this I guess has some scenes from India during the during Gandhi's time and um, it talks about salt as not just like a food item but also about how it played a role in different cultures of the world and how important salt is to life. This pretty much is breaking news but I've already started this and I picked up A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Moss. I'm about 75 pages in. I'm actually liking it. And I've been scared to pick it up because I love the Throne of Glass series. It's kind of one of those guilty pleasure things for me. And I was just afraid that I wouldn't, this wouldn't live up to what that lives up to in my mind. Um, side note, Chaos getting a book and I am super excited. Like that's probably more excited than winning the lottery. Not really, but like it's up there. The next one going right along with this is A Court of Mist of Fury, which is the second book in the series. I've got this from the library and Aka War comes out this month. I don't think I'll end up getting that until the end of the month or June, but I do want to get caught up. Don't spoil me if you've read it because I've done pretty good with not getting into the hypes of the book. I'm currently rereading Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I think I'm about three chapters and I'm just reading this slowly um, and I'm really enjoying it. If you've not reread the series I recommend it because there are several things that you pick up on each reread and it really just shows how much of a great writer J.K. Rowling really was when she wrote this series because there's so much planning that went in there's so many details that you don't notice upon your first read and how that plays into the larger part of the series. So the next one I don't know much about, but it's The Vacationers by Emma Straub. Um, and I picked this up mainly because I thought it would be a light, fluffy spring read or summer read. And the weather is getting very warm now, so it's the perfect time of year to pick this up. The next book is by a debut author. This is allegedly by Tiffany D. Jackson. I think this takes a look into how some of the African American community members have been accused of a crime they didn't commit simply because of their skin color. Um, so I'm very interested in reading this. And the last book I officially have on my TBR, like I said, I might get to some of these. I might get to, well, I'll at least get to some of these, let's be real. Um, but I don't know if I'll get to all of them or I'll switch books up. But it's Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I don't know why I've been skeptical picking this up, but I have. I saw it at the library, which means I didn't have to buy the book. So... I have nothing to lose by getting into it. I know so many people love this. Um, and it's summertime, or not really, it's spring summer. So it's perfect time for a light fluffy contemporary. So I'd love to hear what you guys are planning to read this month. Are you planning to read some of the same books I am? If so, let's discuss it in the comments below, or you can find me on Twitter and Instagram with at lizardreads. And I'll see you tomorrow.